Hello friends, in this video we are going to study Reynolds experiment which is very important to study nature of flow that is whether it is laminar or transitional or turbulent. So let's move on to video. To decide the flow whether it is laminar, transitional or turbulent, a scientist called Reynold have decided to do an experiment. So basic concept for laminar flow is that there should be separate layers whenever there exists a flow. Say for example, in diagram, if we talk about two plates, two stationary plates, this is the first plate and this is the second plate, the symbol of stationary plate is as shown in figure. So if we consider a flow between these two plates or a flow through a pipe, say for example, this is the pipe, then according to laminar flow concept, it is clear that there should exist separate layers of different velocities. So these are the velocities V, V1, V2, V3 like this. According to concept, it is clear that these layers are not mixed with each other. If we talk about a pipe, pipe is having circular cross section, so there will be layers but in a cylindrical form so this is the first layer that is first cylindrical form into that there exists another form into that there exists another form so these all cylindrical forms are flowing from one direction to another direction without mixing in each other in case of flow when considered in pipe so reynold have decided a experiment in which a tank a water tank in which a constant head is maintained. To maintain a constant head, it is clear that whatever is the rate of discharge that should be equal to rate of addition of water into it. So that there will not be less reduction, there will be no reduction in the head. So this is head which is maintained constant during the experiment. There exists a pipe emerging out of the tank there exists a pipe having a dia of 5 cm and length of 1.5 meter that may be a glass tube or transparent tube it is having a regulating wall located at its end so that we can regulate the discharge so i can write here as discharge is equal to Q equal to A into V. If I regulate a discharge, it means that for a particular pipe, this area is constant. This is constant. So if I increase discharge, it means that I am increasing the velocity. And if I decrease discharge, means I am reducing the velocity. So it means that if I want to check whether nature is turbulent or laminar, I have to just introduce some particles will which looks different in color so for that purpose we consider either kmno4 or cuso4 potassium permanganate or copper sulfate solution which looks dark in color and actual density of these solutions are equal to water molecules so that there will be same nature as that of water molecules so we introduce a dye we will call it as a dye so we introduce, we inject dye particles exactly at the center of the pipe. So it is clear that if the flow is laminar, then we will see a line throughout the length. Say this is a pipe, then we will see a line of different color throughout the length during the flow. So that type of nature is called as laminar flow. In our hand, there exists a control of discharge means control of velocity. So, if we increase discharge by moving the wall, then it is clear that we are increasing the velocity. So, we can check up to which velocity this laminar nature is seen. In Reynolds experiment, a value when spiral movement is seen, this is the start of transitional flow. So, this is the start of And finally, 
when there exist end of transitional flow then we will see the nature of dye like this as shown in figure so that type of flow is called as turbulent flow this diagram indicates turbulent flow and this diagram indicate lamina flow and there exist a term called a transitional flow which lies between laminar and turbulent one so for a particular velocity there exist lamina flow at particular velocity range it is changing from laminar to turbulent and after that it is obviously the turbulent one so for this pipe this is the pipe showing laminar flow i am writing here as laminar flow and this is the start of transitional flow which shows spiral nature of a die so this is nothing but the die color die shape there exists a new term called as critical velocity we can define critical velocity critical means extreme so it is that velocity when laminar flow ends or turbulent flow starts so critical velocity can be defined as lower critical velocity and higher critical velocity reynolds have observed that reynolds formula is rho vl upon mu this is reynolds number formula so reynolds number indicates the nature of flow say for example if range of four pipes laminar flow is seen when reynold number is less than 1000 turbulent flow is seen when reynold number is more than 2000 and transitional flow is seen when reynold number is 1000 to 2000 so if we rearrange the terms in renold number we can calculate this velocity this is nothing but the velocity this is nothing but the characteristic length this is nothing but the dynamic viscosity so if i want to talk about velocity v is equal to re into mu upon rho into l so for two renold number values there will be two velocities for renold number equal to 1000 there will be one value of velocity and for renold number equal to 2000 there will be another value of velocity so these velocities are nothing but the lower critical velocity and higher critical velocity so lower critical velocity can be defined as velocity of flow when die line breaks in helical path and turbulence is just started whereas higher critical velocity is when velocity of flow when line breaks completely and die gets diffused diffused means disappeared due to proper mixing of die we see a proper mixing in water phase disappearance of a die so it gets diffused so that is called as higher critical velocity so at lower critical velocity pipe looks something like this a die having helical path and at higher critical velocity this renold number this die it get completely diffused and it gets disappeared at a particular portion if i want to calculate velocity so v is equal to re 
this is the formula re mu upon rho l or equal to re into this mu upon rho is called as nu so re into nu upon l that's all thank you